Yeah, hi everyone. Jason here, Robert Long Miles Australia. Um, today's video is going to be just a short one and just going to show you uh, the little screwing spike studs that we actually, that we wheel studs that we actually sell for basically for all robot wheel mowers. Um, they're only a little tiny packet of things. Um, you see them on the screen there above there, the picture from the camera here. Um, they're basically just a very small, very small stud with a thread on it. Um, they do come in two different sizes, so they come in that size there. Um, which is, I think, is the 1.2 millimeter uh, length screw, and then there's also these ones here, which are just a little bit longer. They come out, I think, they're about 1.8 millimeters, I think, or 1.8 centimeters, I should say, or 1.6 centimeters. So there's two sizes. They both have the same actual stud size on the outside of the wheel when it's when it's actually installed, um, but one has slightly longer thread. So if you do have a tire that has got a, has, has got a good amount of, uh, of rubber in it, uh, then you, and you can account for the uh, for the, the longer thread, then Getting the longer thread ones is obviously going to be a little bit better because the, uh, the thread will hold into the tire just a little bit better. So, basically, the, the, the kits that are available from us they really are just the studs. So, you just get the studs themselves, um, and you can also get them with or without the tool that actually allows you to install them nice and easy, which is really just a four millimeter speed driver. Um, so, you can put them into your drill or a screwdriver or anything like that. So, you can't use that tool by itself. Um, you'll either need some kind of screwdriver that will actually allow that bit to go in, which is just a standard um, screwdriver for, for attaching like a posi drive or something like that um, that you can use. Um, or my preferred method is obviously to use a little electric screwdriver like this one um, that you can actually use. Um, so I'll put both those there for you. Um, so basically all it is is just, just requires a, a standard end of the screwdriver that will, that will accommodate for you know, any, any type of driver bit. So you can put it in a battery drill obviously as well, no problems at all. Um, so basically the intent of this is obviously to create a little bit more traction for your, for your, for your robot. Um, and I'll show you exactly what they sort of look like. So I've got these ones here that I installed just, uh, just earlier, which is you can see on the, uh, on the screen there. Uh, you can see that the, uh, that the little studs there are actually screwed into the rubber here and there's one in each stud, in, in, in each tread I should say. So the packets that we sell here have 50 in each packet. Um, so it really comes down to what robot you've got, and what wheels you've got, and what will actually suit. Uh, the Works Landroid, like this one here, um, they have 24 um, treads per wheel. So, you, so 48, 48 uh, studs should actually get one in every wheel. And you can put two in every wheel if you like. So you can see on these ones here, where I've just put one on the inside there, one on the inside there. Um, there's nothing stops you from putting a second one in. You know, about one centimeter away from the other ones, and you put two in each, in each, each one if you like. Uh, we generally feel that one is generally enough. It does quite a, does quite a, quite a difference to actually put one in. Um, and I'll just go through now and just show you how we, um, how we can install them. So this is with the, uh, with the little electric um, drill. Um, all we really need to do is we literally just put that little device into the end there, like such, uh, and then we find where we want to put it, which is generally towards the outside edge or the inside edge of the, the tire set. So we're going to put it somewhere about there and we just need to just drive it in. Just drive it in until it actually goes all the way down. Um, I'll use the same thing with this, just with this little screwdriver now. So that one, um, same, same scenario. Use the little bit that you can get with it if you like. Um, and we can just put that where we'd actually like it to be, which is about here somewhere. Put the point where you want it to be and then just screw it in. Now they generally screw in very easily. You don't really have to worry about, you certainly don't have to worry about pre-drilling holes and they're, they're going to work better if you don't pre-drill a hole because um, they'll hold a lot better into the, into the rubber if they just screw straight in. Uh, and then you work your way around all the wheels. And then, like I said, you can put one or one in every tread. You can put one in every second tread. You can put two in every tread. It really comes down to what you actually want to put in and how much, how much extra traction you think you need. If you put too many in, if you put two in every single tread on a works landroid, it probably won't work as well um, because you're probably going to start putting a little bit too much surface area on the, on the amount of studs you're actually putting in. It depends on if, you, if your ground's pretty soft, well then it might still be okay. Um, but yeah, that's generally how it goes. So I'll go through here now, put the rest of these in here, speed this film up a bit for you and then show you how it looks at the end.
Okay, so that's uh, that's that. So hopefully you can see that on this other camera here. Looks alright. So you can see that there's basically one in every single tread of the tyre there, and that will give you a significant amount of extra traction uh, to try and make sure that the wheels don't slip on any rabbit lawnmower. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a works land droid, it really can be any rabbit mower, and look most rabbit mowers that I've come across all have you know, a rubber compounded tyre of some description uh, that these will actually screw into quite well. Um, they'll hold in very, very well. Um, they don't get torn out very often, but if it does get stuck on something really hard, uh, the works land droids in particular uh, tend to uh, get stuck in the base station with the plastic little holes in the base station. So I do recommend if you have a works land droid, you put these in, um, that you actually fill your base station up with probably some crusher dust or something and try and make it compact as possible so that the, uh, so the studs don't fall down into the, into the, uh, the plastic grooves in the, state, in, the, in the base station. Um, because they can can rip these things out over time and they probably will fall out over time So it really comes down to just keeping an eye on what's actually there And um, we've got some customers that have installed these for, for months now and they're still and they haven't lost a single single stud So they do quite well um, They also can be used in conjunction with the uh, with the aluminium wheel spikes Which I just made magically appear um, And you can they can actually they can fit, be fitted to the outside of the spike as well like such um, and then you can have extra extra traction again uh, and again, you can do that with pretty much any robot lawnmower. Um, with the Works Landroids, you can even move to actually putting dual wheels in the back of these guys. So you, you really can do a lot of different things to try and get extra traction onto your robot, including extra weight and, and extra spikes. But this one's all about these little wheel studs. Um, I think that's really sort of it. Um, there's not much more I can tell you. If you do have a, a robot lawnmower, um, like a, maybe an Ambrogio uh, robot that's got soft rubber tyres, um, these spikes are no good for that. They won't hold into the soft rubber of the Ambrogio tyre. So you'd have to move to a, a different wheel uh, for the Ambrogio before you can actually screw these in. Um, so there's probably, there's probably a dozen other things you can try with Ambrogio before we have to worry about these guys. Um, but like I said, nearly all robotic lawnmowers that I've come across have got this sort of same compound tyres. Uh, from, yeah, from your Robo Linhos to your Gardinas and Husqvarnas, that they've all got very, very similar content, con compound in their tyres. Okay, so that's it for the uh, for the wheel studs. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us at sales at robotlawmowers.com.au. Uh, you can check out other videos on traction and wheel spikes and things like that on our website at www.robotlawmowers.com.au. And you can find us on Facebook. Uh, just search for Robot Lawmowers Australia. Thanks for watching.